Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Cirrus. Today is June 15th, 2022. My name is Laura Higgs, and today we have with us Heather Williams, who is the chairperson for the Arts Council here in Cirrus. Welcome, Heather. Good to be back again. Mm -hmm. after. <laughs> yes, after the hiatus. Yes. So uh, can you tell me what did, uh, generally, what did COVID, I mean, just sort of getting over the COVID, what mm -hmm. did that do for your organization? Uh, it stopped. It, it, like, like it, it is literally, yeah. because you you couldn't plan an event because who knew uh, two months down the road whether you'd be shut down anyway. Right. So um, we we had finished. We usually do a series of five shows in a year, and so we had done four, and the next day it got stopped. Mm -hmm. So um, we do still owe our um, uh, season ticket holders a show. Okay. So right. hopefully this year, and I think what we'll do is give them a coupon they can use at whatever show they wish to come to. Right. And uh, we're not going to do a series this year. Um, we still kind of, you know, it's it's a little hard to get started up again. Yeah, because you couldn't even go to the planning events. The no. planning events were shut down as well, exactly. right? Exactly. So you had nothing in the nothing to grab onto. No, and they did do a whole bunch by Zoom, um, but you know you sort of have to be comfortable with that but kind of can't, medium. But you can't, but you book, can't, can't, can't book anybody. Yet. So yeah, yes, like your and, hands were tied uh -huh. as far as the arts council goes. Exactly, mm -hmm. and and you got to remember to our audience, um, a lot of who are seniors are now two years older. And Good point. they're cautious about coming out in mm -hmm. public into groups. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to proceed cautiously as well. Right. And we hope we can, uh, we've got sort of talking about a concert um, starting in October. And, um, but that's being finalized yet. Um, so far, um, Manitoba Theatre Centre, which is our usual uh, so Rule two. Mm -hmm. uh, they're coming in um, on February the fifteenth. I think I okay. have written down here, and uh, yes, and it's they're presenting a, a I guess a more serious drama. Normally, that's uh, kind of a comedy, but um, it's called Assassinating Thompson, and um, the group of seven. Um, they. Um, the one fellow, Mr. Thompson, mm -hmm. was mysteriously died. Okay. And so this is what the play is about. It's a one-man play. and uh, But at the same time, I think it'll be very interesting. It's part of our his, history, history. as well. And uh, I think the audience will enjoy it. And mm -hmm. these are such great actors that um, you really do get into the show. You For know? sure. Yeah. yeah. And they bring their own sets, and we help them uh, set them up and they they request so many people mm -hmm. to be there to help and and so that's a great night and then um, in March and these are just the ones that are confirmed um, in March we're having a, a duet and it's um, Dave Gunning and uh, JP Cormier and they're um, guitarists singers songwriters um, from the Maritimes Oh, nice. And both Heather Timischuk and I have seen them when we were down there at the Celtic Colors. And uh, they're amazing with their talent. Great. And so they're coming on March the 6th. They're on their way through um, to do a show in Saskatoon. And so uh, their agent contacted us and said, any chance you could host them and mm -hmm. on their way through and we said you bet yeah so. thank you for getting uh -huh. hold of us yes <laughs> exactly great so um and we have you know other shows uh a lot of manitoba talent mm -hmm. um that we hope to be bringing to people as well so that's that's what our year is starting like and um we've been very lucky the manitoba arts network um through the whole covid thing um they had to switch to being at home. They, they weren't in a general office. And, uh, but every week there was a Zoom session teaching us something. And oh, good. so it was amazing um, what was out there available to learn. Uh, about producing show, putting okay. on shows okay. and, so that's and doing our skill. The production and, and what you would do with your group was come to a halt, but your actual 
uh, the learning part for yes. you, you folks who, who do that was still available. It was, Thank goodness, eh? Exactly. Because yes. could, that could easily disband a group, have not getting together oh, for two years. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. No, it, wow. uh, it, was, uh, it was a challenge. But yeah. anyways, yeah. we're... And very we're different, because yes. we're not used to that. We're used to coming to meetings and having everybody around the table, yeah. doing it on the computer with someone in, you know. Yeah. And then all these people on your computer talking, and it's mm -hmm. a little difficult. It is. Mm -hmm. um, last summer, um, the Arts Council, um, even though we weren't producing ourselves, um, we helped um, fund the uh, entertainment for um, the Peacock Days and for the Heritage Days and the other events in Surus. Um, we had uh, a fund um, that we thought that that's what it should go in it. Oh, nice. Um, so the Indigenous um, entertainment that we had mm -hmm. here in the park and things like that. So um, we stayed active to some degree as much as we were able to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As much as the rules allowed it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it depending yeah. on the month. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's right. But when they when they let up the rules and then you start up your, your program, you can't just come in with a big bang. You have to do something smaller in order to get back on your feet. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and a lot of planning goes in and and I guess you're sort of out of the rhythm of, of these kind of things mm -hmm. too. So so hopefully um, we should be able to go to our conference this fall. It's in Portage, and so we're looking forward to that. It's okay. a great learning experience there, and mm -hmm. and to connect with everybody as well after two years too. So, yeah. it uh, it'll be an event. Good, mm -hmm. very yes. good. Yeah. No. So, um, and um, we've had some new members join our board, and they come with lots of enthusiasm and ideas, and so we're hoping that 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 helps our programming to reach more people. Um, you know, we try and do a variety of, of different things, whether it's drama or music of some sort, um, and we're still trying to reach out to people and, you know, what entertains you kind of thing, mm -hmm. and be able to offer that yeah. um, to people in Suras and area. Well, and like you say, the, the, the people who usually come to your groups, like you say, they're two years older. Mm -hmm. And their life has changed quite a bit. Yes. And so those other people didn't naturally come into it because you were on hold. Exactly. So you almost kind of so have to track them again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really have to see what they're wanting and, mm -hmm. and try and deliver that or, or get them interested in what you do offer. Because uh, a number of people will come and they'll say, you know, I never would have come to this um, on my own, but somebody suggested I come and... And I've really enjoyed it, so I'll be coming back oh, to whatever good. else you offer, you know. Good. So it's for them to get to, um, I guess, trust us that what we're bringing is, is worthwhile. It's quality. What you yes. bring in, there is such quality to the yes. programs you bring to us, yeah. for sure. One of the groups we um, uh, are associated with is uh, Prairie Debut. And um, they're more of a classical presentation. And um, Poe... Um, has been in contact with us and very much she would like to when she brings her performers in um, she would like to do a school a teaching session in the school you know for our group so um, it's nice to be able to reach out to other um, areas in the community mm -hmm. and offer it to the students that you know you have no idea who you're going to inspire that's right yeah and even you know with um, like I say we provided the financial help for entertainment, but you're working with another organization, eh? Mm -hmm. and, and that's how small communities survive, is mm -hmm. by working together. And we'll be, again, um, the entertainment this year at uh, Peacock Days and the fair uh, will be sponsored by the Arts Council. So Very good. Yes, yes. Very, very good. Very well, it's very good. important because um, we put into the youth and we put into the other groups and the other age ranges, I guess you could call it, uh, because they're the future of our groups they after are. the rest of us are moving mm -hmm. on to full retirement. Yes. Some of us might remove to move to full retirement, but <laughs> they are the future of our groups. So they we are. need to have them involved and need to have their, they need to be on fire, just like I feel we're on fire for yes. the things we do. Yes, yeah? I feel that Great. too. So. Great. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. So we, we hope... Uh, like I say, that people will come and 
and uh, give us a try again mm -hmm. and see what we Absolutely. have to offer. Well, it so. sounds like a, an exciting year you have uh, ahead, mm -hmm. even though you haven't yet finalized all your events. It sounds yes. like it's going to be a very exciting. Yes. Okay, well, I'm well, glad you guys are out, back on your feet and, and running. Yes. We really appreciate all your, well, we appreciate your time here for sure, but we appreciate all your efforts that you do for our community as Thank well, you. Heather. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for joining us here on Spotlight and Service. My name is Laura Higgs. I hope you have a great day.